Hey guys, Harps uh, Hex Gaming here today, and uh, I'm joined by the Gamer Neighbor, and this tutorial will show you guys how to build your own dominoes. So let's get into it. So these will obviously be the parts here. Uh, this block, he says here this white part I, I assume right here okay that is the spacer you're gonna remove it in the end the spacer okay so these are for the uh, different curves if you want to make your dominoes turn like he did here nice yes as we can see he does have it so once you unanchor and you just push it down and as you can see it worked perfectly so um yeah nice let's get to the tutorial Okay, so he's going to teach us how to make the dominoes now. I'm going to watch him how to do, how to do it. I, I can already assume how he's going to do it, but I will um, see what he does. These are, um, here, let me request tools for a second. And you're going to use the distance block. I just want to demonstrate here that these parts are not very special he just designed it how he wanted to and you could even leave the weld on there as long as you keep it above these space nice so what happens here is you're going to constantly space out these individual parts right here and then they will um, knock down perfectly and then now he's demonstrating some curves as you can see what he just did is he placed one of these wedges depending on how uh, wide you make the wedge is um, how much of a curve you use don't put too much of a curve otherwise um, it won't work okay so yeah Yes. Um, I think I will try. Okay. So first, I'll just use this. This one, this pallet that I put out for me. So I'll place my first one there. Grab the spacer. Nothing is special about the spacers either. Grab another one. And I'm I will delete the spacers afterwards, or I'll just eyeball it. Yeah, I won't. I won't. Okay. There we go. I recommend that you. He recommends that you start with a smaller one smaller um, wedge and then slowly get to a bigger wedge there we go it looks a bit odd right now but it'll actually look really cool once you're finished move this down There we go. Remove the space. And there we go. So he says if you're going to do the smaller turns um, with those smaller wedges, then um, you do not need the larger one afterwards. So. 
he's gonna unanchor and you just walk right into the end <laughs> I accidentally uh, couldn't this one piece <sighs> But as you can see, it worked as a chain effect. If you guys like this tutorial, this tutorial, don't forget to um, like and subscribe, and uh, f friend the gamer na uh, neighbor. Uh, he's one of my friends. If you guys want to check him out. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I have anything else left to say. Um, so I think he um, so he might not accept friend requests, but he will accept followers. So I will see you all next time. Bye.